I've been messing around with Vercel's OG images and they're so, so nice. I'm actually going to delete a load of stuff inside the code and then we'll see what happens when we re-enable it. Okay, this is looking a little bit less pretty. Let's start by adding that image that we had back on the right hand side. The basic setup is we have this handler function which takes in a next request and then returns some JSX. This JSX is wrapped inside this image response. The most amazing thing you'll see right away is that we can use Tailwind here by using this special TW attribute on all of the elements. I can use external images here too. So this is just pointing at a face on my personal website. And then this image, if I re-enable it, go back over to the screen and refresh, you'll be able to see it just pops up. So far, this is looking pretty good, but let's get back those custom fonts that we had earlier. Fonts are handled via this kind of funky syntax where we fetch a URL and we basically pull it into an array buffer. We do this outside of the handler and then await it inside the handler here. Then in the second argument of image response, we can add in the fonts just here. This means if I save this, go back over and refresh, then our fonts are going to now be pulled in to our image. But now let's make it dynamic. I should be able to pass like a random title in here encoded as a URI component and it should just work. But currently it's just saying hello world on it. So all we do is we extract out the search parameters. We say if it has a title, then we grab the title. Otherwise we say default title. Now, when we refresh the page over here, we're gonna see the thing that we put inside our title is going to be added to our PNG. So that's it. You get Tailwind, you get custom fonts, you get images. It's an absolute dream to work with.